Rabbi Noach Weinberg of Blessed Memory passed away late last week. We now present this tribute in remembrance of one of the pioneers of Baal Tshuva movement, returnees to Judaism, who dedicated his life to the Jewish people. Abner Aya, a ben shel Meir, a ben shel Aviel. Rabbi Noach Weinberg passed away on Thursday, the 11th of Shvat, after a life in which he touched the lives of unknown numbers of Jews and caused thousands to return to Torah. My heart is breaking. Everything was doable. He used to say, if you think that there's something too big for you to do, then you're not because because that means you think you can do the small things. He was able to touch me and touch many, many people. The Jewish people today lost uh, God al Hador in terms, of, certainly in terms of Kiruv, one of the top two or three people of his generation. He was born in Brooklyn in 1930 and came to Israel in 1966 and immediately founded his first school for non observant Jews. Later, in 1974, Rabbi Weinberg founded Eisha Torah, the Torah's Fire, which would go on to be the instrument in bringing tens of thousands back to Judaism. Nothing was small with him, everything was big. I was born in Romania, in a place without uh, Torah, without uh, Judaism. And uh, thanks to Rav Noach Weinberg, I made it to come here to Israel to build up a, a family and uh, kids. And, uh, and that's him. I wouldn't be here without him. What words? What are they to say? You say that a father, you see from Chazal, that, that when, uh, when you're... You learn something and call somebody a Rebbe. You see, even before I say that you have a father, a father who, who, was, who was there to there for everyone, who brought back tens of thousands of people. I have a course of My family is here because I started with Eshetor, because I was schlepped in from the street. He brought me in. It was through it was from Reb Noach. Rabbi Weinberg believed and taught his students that the Ben Torah, a person who lives the life of Torah, can't wait for the non-observant but must go out to them and help them back to Torah. In my own uh, <clears throat> steps of becoming religious, more observant, uh, Reb Noach gave me the biggest push. Um, I was with a group of uh, fellow high school students from uh, my high school. It was a non-Orthodox school in Silver Spring, Maryland. We were on a five-month program in, in um, Kibbutz Tirat Tzvi. When it concluded, I told my dad, I love Israel. I want to stay in Israel a couple more weeks. I showed up at the Kotel. And like so many others, he caught another fish. I landed uh, in his 48 Ways to Wisdom class. And once I heard him speak, I always grew up thinking, well, you're supposed to do this, but it's enough if you only do that. It was in his class where it clicked for me that um, it, one is you know, really supposed to keep all the commandments and not just choose some of the commandments. All you got to do is you know it's right, you start and Hashem will finish it for you. And what he built up, what he demanded of everyone else to build up, is just unbelievable. In the olden days, when he started, there was nothing there. He fought for every little thing and he said, we have to reach everyone. And with everything he accomplished, he kept saying, we just, we've only reached a fraction of what we could. He felt that we have the obligation and we could reach every single Jew wherever they are. And look what he did. He inspired me to... Uh, to uh, to go by myself and then to teach others and I was the uh, uh, teacher in the uh, Jewish community there. In 2008 Rabbi Noach was diagnosed with the lung cancer that would take his life. Despite that he continued to lead the yeshiva and teach his beloved students until his final days. On the 11th of Shvat he succumbed to the cancer. Despite the tragic loss of the beloved sage he will live on in the institutions he created and the countless lives he affected.